It's your boy, Trevor Cross, CJ, and I just jumped out the porch with the blow up best. Y'all see, CJ. My ex see me, y'all, she say I changed, it's the new me. Ain't test so bad, she think I'm rude, you a groupie. I've been running on the red, we all right, so we got uh, Triple Cross CJ off the porch with us today. For sure. How you feeling today, bro? I'm doing great, man. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, appreciate you coming by today, man. For sure. Appreciate you for having me. Show, for sure. Yeah, we've been turning you up on the gram, so it made sense to finally get this knocked out, too. Hey, yeah, got to, got to. Yeah. So you're Atlanta native, right? Yeah, I'm Atlanta native, for sure. Okay. What part of the city are you from? Uh, Decatur. Okay. Like, born and raised. Yeah. What part of Decatur? Like east side, like Keller Road type shit like that. Okay. What was your childhood like uh, growing up there in Decatur? Uh, childhood, I was raised like both of my parents like in a household. So like, it was pretty cool. Like I was in like sports. I like basketball, like, okay. like for, for real, like so. Yeah, I can see that you're a pretty tall guy, man. Yeah, a little bit, a little <laughs> bit. I'll supposed to be a little bit taller though, but you know what I'm saying, that's all good. <laughs> How long did you play ball for? Uh, I played ball for like, since I was like real little, like probably like six to probably like up until like 12, 13, like series, like little leagues, AAU, stuff like that. Yeah. What happened after then? Uh, I started drifting off basketball a little bit. I started dealing with other stuff, like doing other things. I started growing up like teenager. So I started drifting off, drifting off just a little bit. Yeah. You wish you would have stuck with it? You said what? You wish you would have stuck with it? Uh, nah, not today. Nah, <laughs> I like what I do now a lot better. All right, so at what age would you say you jumped off the porch? Uh, for real, for real, I say I jumped off the porch like 15. Okay. 15 years old, I started goddamn doing my own thing, trying to get my own money, trying to do my own little thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you have any uh, older siblings or cousins, big homies out there? Yeah, I got like some, a lot of big homies, like, you know what I'm saying, that I look up to, I respect, like, cause I always like hang around people that was older than me. Like, I always, like, since I was little, little I always wanted to be around people that was older than me. I got a lot of OGs. I got like three older sisters. I don't got like no older big brothers, like, biologically, but I got a lot of big brothers, like, look out for me. I look out for them, like, love, so. Okay. What would you say is one of the biggest life lessons you learned? Uh, Biggest life lesson to be stay in your lane. Like for sure. Don't worry about what nobody else got going on. Don't let what nobody else saying matter. Like fuck that shit. Like go crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like none of that really matter. It just matter what you do. As long as you're doing the right thing, you good. That's it. What was one of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome to make it to where you at today? One of the biggest obstacles I had to overcome uh was like letting people accept me for who I was. Like when I dropped my first EP, like a lot of people like expected me to like come on like street lingo, like cause how what I was known for, like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to like accept the set, like accept the fact that like it's gonna be me, like this one put out, like they either gonna like it or not like it, like you know what I'm saying? So that's that. Yeah. How long you been making music now? Uh like seriously, I've been making music for like a year. Like I've been in the studio, like since I was like probably like 15, 14, 15. I made my first song when I was probably like 13. Like uh, another uh, little rapper, uh, like Flo Malcolm. Probably nobody know right now. What inspired you to start making music at first? Shit. I always like music, like, you know what I'm saying? I always like being like music, like all type of music. Like since I was little, like, I got like sisters. So like I grew up listening to all type of different music, like R&B. Rap music, so I was like been into music since I was a little, little, you know what I'm saying? And then when I got into the studio, and I actually made a song, and like people liked it, I liked it, like, you know what I'm saying? I like, they cool, like, I could do this right here, like, for sure, so. But I wasn't taking it serious at that point because, like, I, I ain't know, like, I was just a kid, like, I was just fucking around, like, you feel me? Yeah. And who'd you grow up listening to? Uh, I grew up listening to Lil Wayne, for sure, most definitely, like, Lil Wayne. Listen to him like almost every day. Uh, I listen to like a lot of Southern rappers, like all the little Southern rappers. Like back then, like I was younger, so like listen to music. Then it was like Franchise Boys, Gucci Man. Like I ain't listen to Jeezy too too much like that, but I listen to Lil Wayne for sure, for sure. Okay. All right. So what inspired you to start taking it serious about a year ago? 
So I had dropped a little on um, EP called Fuck Love, like on February 14th, 2019. And like, I ain't do like no promotion, nothing like that. Like, I just dropped it, like, on some like shit how I was just feeling at the time. Like, feel what I'm saying? Like, one of the songs, like the last song, like, It's Best Friend, that shit was going crazy. Like, the numbers, like, the streams on like SoundCloud, Apple Music, YouTube, like, it was just like crazy. Like, feel what I'm saying? I was like, I need people like really fucking with this song. Like they really fucking with me. So like, I could do this for real, for real. Like ever since like then, like I still went full on flesh, but I was just like, all right, do what I'm gonna do. Like, okay, I gotta put it together now, but do what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do for sure. That song, X Best Friend, is that pretty self-explanatory? Uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I was going through like a little situation with a female at the time. Like that kind of what inspired me to like go hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Different things motivate different people, but like I'll Going in with a female at the time and motivated me to get into the studio, put my feelings out, put how I felt out so the world could hear. I ain't, I ain't even know that the world was gonna hear, but like the world felt me. Hmm. And shit, shit went great. Was it pretty therapeutic recording that song? Kind of, you know, venting, getting those emotions out? Man, hell nah, not really. I was like, I was high, I was high here when I recorded <laughs> this song. I freestyled it too. Yeah. So why'd you name it Fuck Love? I didn't fuck love cause how I was feeling. Like at that time, I was like, fuck love, fuck females. I don't want to deal with no relationships. I don't want none of that. Like, you feel me? I'm good on all that. Like, you feel me? At that point in time, what I was going through, I was like, man, I'm good on everything. Yeah. Fuck love. Have you gotten over it now? Yeah, I gotten over it. And then I, I, I like my success now too. So it's like, feel me? It's cool. It's I'm glad I made it though. For sure, so I'm gonna take it back. I won't, I won't regret it. Is it still fuck love though? Uh, I ain't for love. <laughs> I take the love. I like the love. All right. So, how'd you get the rap name, uh, Triple Cross CJ, with the X? Okay, Triple Cross CJ. Like you call me Triple Cross CJ, you call me Triple Cross SJ. It don't really matter. Young AJ, young CJ. But I came over with it because like one of my uh, homeboys, one of my close friends, like Pooh, like he had like made a group like Triple Cross way, way back. Like you know what I'm saying, it's like my right hand man. So shit, I was just like, you feel me? They doing their thing over here, like in the streets or whatever. But I'm gonna take it, like, make it way big. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it with the music shit, put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Let the world see it, let the world know what we got going on. And then I put the XJ in front of the CJ because like, I wanted to be different. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of like CJ, like, you feel what I'm saying? I want mine to like stand out, be different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, something you won't forget. Like, see XJ, you like, damn, who the hell is XJ? Like, I never, like, you know what I'm saying? Not gonna forget that for sure. <laughs> Do fans get confused? Yeah, a lot of fans get confused. But I know when they hear my music, like they hear the little young CJ, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, he's talking about himself, he's talking about AJ, but like, it don't matter. You call me whatever, I ain't true. So what's your creative process like? Do you write or you just punch in? Oh, uh, right now, I just punch in. Like, I try, like my first EP, I wrote like, like probably like three of the songs. I wrote my intro. But like the second EP, I, uh, the second mixtape I dropped, Young AJ. I ain't uh, really do too much writing. I just punched in a lot, like just feeling the vibe, like on how I was feeling at that time, or like whatever I did that day. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I just put that into a song. I like to punch in because I feel like it's a lot more creative. Like you can think about a whole lot of things rather than writing something down, you stuck to one thing, like, like that. All right, talk to us about uh, VVS with Lucci. Uh, VVS with Lucci. That shit was crazy because like I ran a uh, Lucci at a gun at the gun store. I was <laughs> really? at the gun store, um, purchasing a firearm. I looked at my right and I seen a Lucci. I'm like, damn, like feel what I'm saying? What the hell going on? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, what you want for a feature type shit? Like, boom, you know what I'm saying? We chopped it up, went to the studio, handled that shit, like, you feel what I'm saying? Fuck with Lucci the strong way, bro, real. Kept that shit silent. We shot the video, that motherfucker came out too hard. Yeah. What was it like working with him? It was cool. It was cool. I, I was like, it was a learning experience too. It taught me like, shit really like business, like everything in business. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. Like, we'd be cool and all that, but it's a business too. You got to have your business right. Everything about your business got to be right. Like, for sure, for sure. And talk to us about your most recent single, um, G5, featuring G5. Uh, G5 with G5. That was a cool little experience too. Uh, I ran into him. Yeah, um, Linux. And like, it was like crazy. Cause like, at first, I was with one of my other little buddies, and I didn't even know it was him at first. I asked my partner, like, bro, that G5? You know what I'm saying? He like, yeah, that G5. Shot it up with him. 
went to the studio, made the song. He was fucking with the song for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with him too, he a real one. I got down, you know what I'm saying? I put the little shit with Lil Baby in there. But I got down, you feel me? Fucking with them folks. They was fucking with me. Lil Baby see these motherfuckers. I fuck with a young nigga, man. I know what the hell going on. Young CJ going crazy every time. Yeah, so you had Dirty Tay in the video too. Yeah, he, he, Autumn pulled up, came and fucked with me. It was a cool little vibe. And how'd you link up with Paper Love for uh, Leave Me Alone? Uh, Paper Love? I just hit Paper Love in the DM. I, I had seen him uh, posting like shit, trying to do a song, like I'm studio, I just DM him like, what's up, bro? You feel what I'm saying? They're doing. Boom, pushed up on him. Did the song like quick, fast. We did like two songs, shot the videos. And Paper Love got some more shit on the way too. Paper hey, Love, my boy. Yeah. Fuck with him, strong way. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I see you about to drop a video with uh, Real Recognized Rio, too. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. That motherfucker finna go crazy. I was supposed to been drop that video, but it's on the way, like, for sure, for sure, like, real soon. He a real one, for sure, for sure. Bro, show me dumb love, like, no cap. For real, for real. Shout out to right now, Rio. Yeah, Rio be going in, man. Rio be going crazy. Yeah. Ain't no cap. So, you know. A lot of features, man. A lot of big name features too that you're doing this independently. Hey, yeah, quick, like independent for show, show. And sign nobody, no deal, none of that. Everything I do independent. All my music I'm dropping by myself, like show. Yeah. Are you interested in signing with a label if they come call? Uh, it depends on like what the numbers talking about. Like, feel me, gotta be talking about the right numbers. I got to, and then it gotta be like something that like I can negotiate with. Like, I don't. I want my rights. I want to be able to drop when I want to. All that, like, it got to be 50 50. Can't be 87, you know, 80 30, all that. Yeah, the numbers definitely got to be right, considering how much you invested into your career already, you know? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Definitely got to be right. All right, what well, can you tell us about your most recent project, uh, Young CJ? Uh, I put a lot of time into my, my last most recent project. It mean a lot to me because, like, I was transforming as a rapper, like being more serious, being in the studio more, like being more creative with my music. So like Young CJ mean a lot to me. Like I need to go check that out. It's on all platforms, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. Go check it out, ASAP. And yeah, what can you tell us about the song and video for uh, New Me? New Me. Uh, that was like, I really, that was like probably one of my favorite songs off the project. So like, I put a lot of time into that song. Like I wrote like the second verse, I believe. Yeah, I wrote the second verse. I punched in like on the first part. But that song mean a lot to me, cause it's like, I'm explaining like, it's a new me from like the old me from like Fuck Love, from like when I was saying like Fuck Love, like I'm elevating as a rapper, as a man, like, it's just like, I like that song a lot. I need to go check that out. That's out on all platforms too. And what about the song Focus? You got a video out for that one too. Uh, Focus, that was a quick song. Like, Focus was quick, quick, like super quick. I made a song like 20 minutes and I didn't even expect it to do the numbers that it did. Like it did, it's doing great on YouTube right now. Like shout out to all my fans, everybody who's supporting that video right now. It's going great. I keep supporting them, subscribe to my YouTube, all that. Show, show. Shout out to Focus, like that song. Doing better than I thought. Plans to drop some more videos from the uh, project, Young CJ? Uh, I might drop like one more video from that uh project. I got a whole lot of new videos that I've been working on, like a whole lot of new visuals where like I'm really like elevating like, and I see it like you know what I'm saying. So I got a whole lot of new stuff I want to show and put out. You got a new project in works? Uh, right now I don't got a project in work right now. I'm just dropping singles with videos. Trying to grab my fans' attention. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody see me. That's all I'm doing right now. Who are some of the producers you've been working with lately? I've been working with Shania on the beat. Uh, I was working with um, Gutter Tay. I've been working with Kirby, Beats, OLN. I've been working with a lot of producers. Shout out to the producers too, for sure. So, but I definitely need them. I can't make no hits without them. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm probably forgetting somebody too. If I'm forgetting about you, goddamn. Shout out to you too. I just can't think about it right now. But yeah, for sure, for sure. What's one of the next videos you plan to drop, do you know? 
Uh, with Rio. Okay. Rio, I plan to drop that video next. That motherfucker gonna go crazy. I gonna like that one for sure. All right, what else are you working on, CJ? What else coming up? Uh, just a lot of videos by myself now. Like, I not, not a whole lot of features, especially with some big artists. So now, I'm finna just get into myself. Let everybody like know me for real, for real. Drop some single videos. You know what I'm saying? All right. Any shout outs before we wrap this up? Uh, for my boy, one five trip, show for show. All right, guys, know that. Shouts out to my boy, Young PR. He a uh, upcoming artist. Coming out of Atlanta too. Going crazy. Shout out to goddamn my boy Lay. You know what I'm saying? My boy One Tate. I already know it. I'm probably forgetting a lot of people. Like, I don't want nobody to feel no type of way, but shout out to everybody who rocking with me. For real, for real. It's love. Fucking with y'all. Strong way. My ex see me on. She say I changed. It's the new me. Ain't test so bad. She think I'm rude. You a groupie.